Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Killian. As you know, I'm the director of the Arizona Department of Agriculture. And we're out on the road today. We're down in Benson, Arizona at Top Knot Farms with our good friend here, Michael. And he's going to uh, talk to us a little about what he does with his uh, farming operation. As you know, in Arizona, we have large farms, small farms, medium-sized farms. And Michael's part of that millennial generation that's doing uh, what I call entrepreneurial agriculture. So Michael, tell us a little about your operation and what made you decide to get in the chicken and duck business. Sure, well, thank you very much for coming to talk to me today, Mark. Um, it's my pleasure to share the story of uh, Top Knot Farms. Um, my brother and my father and my family started this farm three years ago. Uh, we came to Benson, Arizona and started doing this um, out here. We sell pastured poultry, uh, meaning that we're growing birds outside on grass and um, we supplement a grain ration that they're fed with uh, fresh pasture grass. They get clover and seeds and bugs and um, some things that improve the diet of a chicken and we feel make um, make the quality of the meat a little bit better than uh, birds raised strictly on grain. Uh, right now we're standing in what we call our brooder house and uh, it's essentially a barn that our day old chicks uh, come to when they first arrive to the farm. It's an area that we're able to protect them from the elements, we protect them from predators. They live in uh, a very controlled environment. We're able to keep them warm, dry, and uh, safe from anything that we want to get to them. And so these birds are at various ages. We have a group here to the left of the camera that um, were born this week. They're about three days old. And the group that we're looking at here in front of us is uh, three weeks old right now. So all of our birds will spend the first four or five weeks of their lives in this building, just depending on what's going on outside. If the weather's nice, they can go out a bit earlier. If it's nasty outside, they'll stay a bit longer. But um, they spend about the first four or five weeks of their lives in this uh, controlled environment. At five weeks of age, they'll go outside and they'll finish the rest of their lives outside um, the way that a natural chicken would. They're on grass, they get rain, they get sunshine, they get bugs. Um, and the birds will grow to their table weight outside and then we harvest them and uh, they're distributed. Um, we have the birds on wood shavings which keeps their um, living environment clean. The uh, hanging bells that you see, the red bells, are waters that are set up on uh, a low pressure irrigation system. So they have fresh water um, to drink. And the way these bell waters work as, um, as they get lighter, as birds drink the water, they will automatically refill. They're on a float valve. Um, the metallic tents have heat lamps inside. Uh, and they provide a warm space for the birds to go when the temperature drops or when they need to warm up. Um, the broiler that we grow is called a Cobb 500 and it is uh, a Cornish cross bird. And this particular bird is um, bred and engineered to grow quickly and it's also um, favored because it has a wonderful feed conversion rate, which means that it puts on a lot of meat per amount of feed that you give the bird. So um, they grow quickly and they grow large. Customers that buy from us at restaurants and um, our friends at the farmer's markets um, are buying our birds because they're looking for an alternative to um, poultry that's produced commercially. Um, I think it makes them feel good to know that we're raising the birds in a natural way, um, that the birds are getting a diet that the customers are agreeable to, they're getting uh, a non-GMO grain as well as fresh grass. Um, I think that people are growing more and more conscious about um, the food that their food eats and um, they care about that, um, that aspect of what we're doing out here. I think that's very attractive to them. What normal chickens do when they're out in the chicken yard, they'll go out and 
eat bugs and dirt and worms and whatever they can scratch up. Right. The chicken naturally likes to scratch and, and that's part of their behavior. Right. Now I see you've got a whole bunch of ducks over there. Let's go over there and find out about your duck operation. What, what's going on over there? You got all these ducks here. Tell, tell us what are you doing with all these ducks? Sure. These ducks are the pride of our farm. Um, we love growing the ducks because we love the way they taste, and uh, we do pretty well selling them to restaurants in Tucson and Phoenix. The breed that we grow is the Gramad hybrid, and um, similarly to the Cornish Cross chickens that we grow, this particular breed of duck um, grows quickly and um, puts on a good amount of breast meat. Uh, per feed given to the bird. And um, so we like them a lot. They're a great bird. Um, the birds, the duck that we grow are of the of the Pekin bloodlines. We appreciate the opportunity to be here on your farm today. Sure. We wish you a lot of success. And I'm gonna be back here in November sure. to get a, a sure. Christmas goose. Wonderful, thank you very much, Thank Mark. you, appreciate it. Thank Now, if you would like to be on one of our podcasts and like us to come and interview, please call us. We'd love to do it. If you'll call us at 602-542-0990, we'll come out to your place and interview you and, and take some video and find out just what you're doing to add to the economy of Arizona.